Hi everyone, Jennifer here from My Purpley Life, and um, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Yay! So, um, if you guys didn't know, I um, won the giveaway from Organized Heaven. She did a giveaway with some Filofax organizers as prizes, so I can't wait to get into this um, little goodie box here. Hello Kitty! I love these Hello Kitty packing tapes. Anyways, so here I go. You know, watch me tear this thing apart. Anyways, so I did win the compact size Holborn. Oh my, I don't want to cut the Hello Kitty! I don't even know how I'm going to open this thing. Oh my Ugh. Okay. Oh my goodness, here we go. And the color is going to be a brown. Ooh, my goodness, it's like right open right there. Okay. So, ah, uh, there. Ooh. Here it is here. Filofax Holborn. And then here's the opening right there. It was like right there. Hello. Ah. Beautiful. And the leather is so soft. It's not as um puffy like the personal size. I used to have a personal size in um, the wine color and I sold it. And I always wanted a compact size one because I love using my compacts as my wallet. And the whole one is great. Um, for a wallet because I wanted okay hold on let me look at it first beautiful and it comes with a 2013 diary and look at all those pockets now in the personal size the pockets are this way so this is different and then it has this pocket here where I can put the cash or receipts or whatever, but I'm gonna be using this for this pocket for cash, cause um, it comes with A through Z dividers. What else? Some address pages. Some to-do paper. And some lined paper. And then here's the pocket loop here, and it is elasticized. And then, okay, let me go through the pockets again now. So there's a pocket here, there's a pocket here, and then there's a pocket here. And then there's a pocket here. <laughs> and there's an, is this one come with the zipped one? Oh no, it's different. I think the personal one had a zipper one in the inside as well, but this one doesn't. But the reason why I like the Holborn is because I um, I put this in my, in my purse like this, this way. And then if I need to reach some cash really quickly, I can just like unlock it and then grab the cash out from and I don't even have to take this whole thing out of my purse which is great um, so if I just need to like grab some quick cash I can just from my purse which is great and I'm so excited that I'm going to move into it right away um, here is my personal I meant personal my compact plum Osterly that I've been using so now I'm gonna give her a break because um, how long I've I've um, been in this for December, January, February, March, April, May. Wow, five months straight, and usually I don't stay in a file of that long. Um, but the thing with the Osterly, I'm gonna tell you guys, is that um, they get damaged a little bit easily. You can see some of the scuff marks. Um, here in the corners, here on this part of the organizer, as well as the bottom, and just on the edges, they 
the color has rubbed off a bit. I will post some of the pictures for you, but I think that's just the way um, Osterleys are. Um, so if you um, are the type of person to kind of toss these around in your purse or um, things like that, then um, be aware that they will get scuffed up. Another thing um, is that my purse has a zipper on it. So I think that when I, um, you know, put it in and out of my purse, that um, it kind of gets scratched on the zipper as well. So that's another thing um, I noted. So I am going to take a break from my Osterly, and then I'm going to go into the Holborn. But that's the color side by side there. It's a very rich brown color. And that's okay. It's okay it's not purple because I need something a little like sophisticated <laughs> but I do I love the whole board thank you Krista for doing the giveaway and um, let's see can I go in straight up let me just show you guys since you're here watching me um, I use um, let's see if this is the the um, Pentel Energel pen that I use. I keep a black pen for when I have to, you know, sign things and stuff, receipts. I keep that in my compact. The problem is this rubber grip here. So I'm probably just going to attach it like this on the pen loop with the on the. What do you call the on the clip? So I'm gonna I'm just gonna clip it on instead of put the pen through. And that's fine because the pen loop is high, it's not in the middle, so the pen will still sit in in the middle of the organizer, which is good. Let me I wish it, I can show you guys this, but it is laying flat. I'm not putting any pressure on it or whatever. And it's pretty flat. So, that's another thing about the whole board. My Osterly does lay flat too as well. Okay, let me move in really quickly. Hurry up. To show you guys how it fits. How it fits. work out the way I wanted it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, there's just this little paper attachment so that because when it's closed, the rings will hit the leather like that. So they keep that little paper thing on the inside as a protectant. And now I can see the rings. And the rings look good. Yay! So anyways, there it is again without anything on the inside, and it's pretty flat. So I like that. Okay. And it pr almost has the same configuration of card slots as my Austerly. So. Let me put in my cards. The thing with the Austerly, it has one, two, three, four card slots, and then the Holborn has six. So, let me move everything in. There. And remove this. So the ring size on the compact is 15 millimeters and you can fit personal size refills on the inside it will take personal size inserts so if you're going from a personal size to a compact size it will accommodate you very well 
but if you're using different kind of inserts, like some people use um, Franklin Covey inserts, then a, they will for sure stick out. But I use my compact as my wallet. So the only thing that I keep in my compact are cards. And I have a lot of them. So, and then I keep um, a little pocket thingy from Day Runner for my stamps and my receipts. All right, moved in and looks great. Now my issue is the pen. <laughs> but there you go, all filled in now. But now, you see how my pen is right there sticking out? I can't close it. So what am I gonna do about this pen? Hmm. No, it won't close with this pen? No, it won't. Darn, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna try a different pen. This is the Uniball Sino pen. And it doesn't have a rubbery thing, so I'm gonna put that in the pen loop and then see if that closes. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Okay. So now that the pen is in the pen loop, Oh, that's snug. I'm probably gonna use a slim pen in here. Okay, let's try another pen because that's not working too. Okay, let me see, where's my slim? Okay, so now I have a um, friction ball slim, the erasable ones. See if I put a slim pen like that in there. Okay, that fits. That fits good. Okay, I might have to use a friction pen. That's okay. And then I'll keep an extra pen in my purse or something. But there's the pen there. So what I've done here is um, kind of pulled out the pen and then, you know, have it like that. So that works. It has to be like a really thin pen. Otherwise, um, if you have a thick pen, the pen um, is going to stick out and then you won't be able to close it because your stuff is in the way. Mm hmm. Okay. And then I'm just going to take some of my cash and put it here in the pocket. So now, I have my little cash there, easy to get to, I have my cards here, and then I'm glad this divider has like some browns in it, so I'm going to be able to keep that divider that I made out of scrapbook paper here. And then that's it. And now, Plum can take a rest. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed that video. I love the softness of the leather, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.